up, students? So today we are going to be continuing our balancing unit, but instead of balancing on our foot or our parts of our body, we're going to balance objects on our hand. And I have a ton of objects I'm going to go through with you quickly because everybody's going to have different objects at home because we all have different stuff at home. But some objects are easier than other objects. So find an object and actually find as many objects as you want because I want you to test all kinds of objects and I want you to tell me which one was the easiest one and which one was the hardest. So I'm going to start out with one of the easier ones. I have a cup. Can I balance that on my hand pretty easy? Yep. So I'm going to have you get a cup. See if you can balance your hand with a cup or your cup with a hand. That's what I meant to say. Can you bring it up high? Can you bring it down low? All right. So I can do that by just sitting down. Can I balance peanuts? Yep, pretty easy. Might be hard for some people, but that's why we're practicing. Balance those peanuts. Don't let them fall. If they fall, just pick them up and try again. All right, now I'm going to get to a harder one. I just have a wooden stick. I'm going to balance it. This might be a little bit harder. Let's see if you can balance that. So I have that object. I'm just showing you all my objects right now. I have a paper towel roll, or a toilet paper roll, balancing. It's a little more hard or more difficult because it's a lighter object. So when I move it, it blows off my hand. To bounce off that, I have a paper towel roll. It's a little bit harder. Okay, what else do I have? I have a pledge spray, so kind of like a spray paint. Put it on my hand. Ooh. A little more difficult. So far the wooden stick and the Paper towel roll was the hardest. Now I have golf club. I'm just going to spin that upside down. Just like that. Golf club works. Can balance that. Um, of course, Miss Richards has a hockey stick. So she's going to balance that. That almost touches the ceiling. That's difficult. I had to grab it with my fingers. But I have my hockey stick. And lastly, the hardest one is... Kind of like a spatula or a big spoon that you make to, or use to make soup. So this one's really hard. Okay, that's the highest one of my items. You can choose any items you want, but we are soon going to go over some activities with balancing them in our hands. And I want you to try all kinds of different items in your hands while we're practicing the balancing and using different movements to see if we can balance while we're moving. Okay? So find your items and we will get started. All right, so first item I'm going to use is the cup. Put it on my hand, now I'm gonna walk. Forward, backward, side to side. Can you do it keeping the cup on your hand without it falling off? Can you just walk everywhere? Can you skip? Keep it balanced, can you bring it above your head? Ooh, that's tough. Ooh, okay, so that was the cup. See if you can move. This one, we are going to do the pledge. So spray paint. See if you can find a chair and do some squats. Switch hands if you want, because my right hand's better than my left hand. Can you spin in a circle? How about the other way? Ooh, I'm dizzy. Alrighty, got that one down. Let's see, let's do the wooden stick. Can I balance? Ooh, this is tough. Can I go down to my knees and back up? See if I can do it again. Oh, I had to go against my body, that's okay. 
Hmm, can I spin in a circle with this one? Whoa. Can I do it on my left hand? Can I bring it up a little bit? I might touch the ceiling. What if I go on my knees and I bring it up? So whatever items you have, practice the uh, movements that I'm showing you. Wooden stick is down. Let's try the paper towel roll. All right, this is the lightweight, remember, so we have to be super careful and it's going to move a lot. Can we skip? Can we jump? Oh, jumping's hard. Try that again. Woo! It's kind of hard to concentrate on balancing and jumping at the same time. So, see if we can spin in a circle. Nice. So, the one I struggled with was jumping with this because it's so lightweight. Next, we're going to do the hockey stick. We don't have much space in here, so I think I have to do these, all my stuff on the knees. So, can I sit down, get back up, sit down, back on your knees, sit down, woo! And switch hands. Get it started. Uh oh. Left hand's harder than my right hand. Find the balance. Keep trying. I'm going to practice a little more with this one. Whoa. All right. So I'm going to come back to this one probably. And let's see, golf club. I'm going to stand up for this one. Can you get high knees? Heel kicks. Woo! That's hard. Let's see if we can do a lunge. Oh, that was hard. And just a regular squat. Oh, let me catch it. There we go. And squat. Oh, oh, I almost had it. See if I can go all the way down to my knees. And close. Now, this is a challenge. I want you guys to find the tallest one you have. And I don't know if I can even do this, but you're going to try and sit down and get back up. This is a hard, hard challenge. Oh, almost. So let's see if I can get back up. Crisscross. Back up. All right. So I can do that. Okay. So golf club. Done. And peanuts for the little ones. Try and get something pretty tall and thick. So it has more, it's more stable on your hand. So lunges, jumping, bring it above your head, spin, come down, come up. Let's see, marching. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. So sometimes that happens, we just get it and we keep practicing. When we're balancing, we gotta make sure our hands are flat. All right, we can't, can't be grabbing it like that. That's cheating. Flat. All right, peanuts are done. Toilet paper roll. This one's tough because it's really light. Let's see if I can jump with this one, because I couldn't jump with the paper towel roll. Couldn't jump with this one either. Let's see if we can lunge. So, side lunge, if I go slower. 
There we go. Woo! All right. So the paper roll. And the last, but not least, we are going to do the spatula or soup scooper and stir. This one's going to be tough. Try and just balance this one. Oh, landed on my chest. So, all right, Randolph students, so I gave you some examples of the equipment I used and what I did to practice my balancing. I want you to show me some of those skills, but also show me some of your own skills. What do you come up with? What kind of movements are can you do while balancing something? I want to see some videos and I want to see some pictures, okay? So have fun with this. Be creative. You can use any items you want. That's why I had such a variety in my items and do as much movement as you want. Show me those movements. Can you skip? Can you go in a circle? Can you jump? Can you lunge? Can you, uh, let's see, jumping jacks. Could you do a jumping jack while doing it? Show me what you are made of. And remember, the faster you move, the harder it's going to get. The slower you move, it might be easier. And if you're having troubles, get one that is thicker so it sits better on your hand. If you're very, very good, that's when you get something that's not as thick because it doesn't have as much surface to sit on your hand. So be creative with what you have at home, and I'm excited to see pictures and videos. All right. Have a nice day, guys. See ya. Submit a video or a picture of you balancing objects and tell me which object was the easiest and which object was the hardest. Have fun, do your best, and be creative.